Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Hummocks Middle School Earth Science Department. Today, we're going to link four pages of our reference table, your two New York State maps on page two and three, and your geologic history of New York State on page eight and nine. So we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to link the, all of your index fossils at the bottom of page eight and nine and show you how you can manipulate page two and three to get some answers pertaining to your fossils here. So let's get started. And we're going to start out with a special trilobite that's labeled letter A. Now this is the trilobite A. You're going to see that the trilobite A, his name is Elliptocephala, lived during the Cambrian period. Even though trilobites lived from Cambrian all the way up to late Permian, you can see that this specific species of trilobite only lived and died during the Cambrian time. So here's what you do. Because you know it lived during Cambrian time, you're going to try to find that symbol that's highlighted on your page three of your Earth Science reference table. You're going to see that that Cambrian rock is of sedimentary origin. And we know that sedimentary rocks are the only type of rock that's going to contain any type of fossil. So what you're going to do here is going to try to find that symbol. So you have some of that in really in the northern part of New York. and really have some in some of the southern part as well. What you're going to do now is you're going to look at page two in the reference table and you can see what landscapes that falls into. Now those landscape regions that are highlighted, the St. Lawrence Lowlands, part of the Hudson Mohawk Lowlands, even in some of the Taconic Mountains, will contain trilobite A off of your reference table. All right, so let's give you a couple more examples here. We have a couple here from the Silurian. We have a crinoid labeled letter H, lived during the Silurian time. And we also have a brachiopod, which is kind of like a clam, labeled letter Y. Okay, that one right there, it's called Eospirifer. That one is also lived during the Silurian as well. So now you know two index fossils that lived and died during the Silurian time. You find the symbol for Silurian. You go up to page three. You find an area that has the symbol of those vertical lines. Now you superimpose page two over top of that. And what's going to happen here is that you're going to get the Erie Ontario lowlands. That is going to have index fossil H and index fossil Y. We'll give you another example here. Letter V. Okay, and that is going to be a type of coral that lived during the early Devonian. You'd find the Devonian symbol. The Devonian symbol is found right in this region here. You superimpose your landscape map. So index fossil that's labeled letter V lived in the Allegheny Plateau. So that's how you're going to use page 2, 3, 8, and 9 all together. So make sure you can link them together. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.